Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Cami is off tonight. A conditional sentence of at least six months in jail. That's the punishment handed down in Shadow County Court today against Samuel Armstrong. 18-year-old was convicted of 13 felonies for throwing a barrel of fuel onto a bonfire during a backyard party in the town of Maple Grove in October of 2022. More than a dozen people were hurt, some of them seriously burned. Brittany Schmidt attended the sentencing where the victims asked for accountability but also offered forgiveness. She has this first alert update. The daily screams coming from him because of the pain is something that we will have in our heads for the rest of our lives. The impact of Samuel Armstrong's actions that night in October of 2022 on full display during his sentencing Thursday. Several parents of teens who suffered second and third degree burns recount how their lives changed that day. I now keep my phone by my bed and I can't fall asleep until I know my kids are home safe. Being told that my son was burned and on the way to a hospital was the scariest moment of my life. While in the emergency room, I watched the gruesome bonfire video from someone in the emergency room. And it appeared to me to resemble a war zone. Fire was everywhere. People were rolling, screaming, trying to get the flames out. I still can't get this image out of my mind. And to know that Brandon was at the center of this still makes my heart ache. For the first time, Action 2 News got a glimpse of the aftermath of the bonfire explosion. The prosecution pointing out the intensity and recklessness of Armstrong's actions. The explosion ring spans several feet. Lawn chairs charred and melted. The trauma the victims and their families lived through will stay with them the rest of their lives. But they say the anger won't linger forever. While the victims ask for accountability, they also offer forgiveness. I forgive him for what he has done. I have no hate towards him. And some fatherly advice for the 18-year-old. No matter what decisions are made today, in hopes that one day Sam is able to turn his life around and do what is right when no one is looking and maybe even do great things in his life. You're going to do good things in your life, and I just want to encourage you, as rough as this is now, And I want to let you know that I forgive you. The Shawano County judge took their words into consideration Thursday. And I think you're a lucky person for that. I, in court, I always make notes when people apologize. And I almost never hear people say they forgive someone. And I heard it at least, I don't know, five times today. In a letter, Armstrong's mother wrote to the judge, asking her to consider her son's character and right actions he took after the incident, accepting responsibility. She wrote, quote, Our hearts are full of sadness over what happened. We know Sam didn't intend to harm his friends and classmates, yet his actions resulted in a horrific accident that has caused pain to so many people. Armstrong, tearful at times, did not address the court himself, but his attorney read an apology note. He has to report to jail on May 30th by 8 p.m. That date was picked so that Armstrong could walk for his high school graduation. Reporting in Shawna, Brittany Schmidt, Action 2 News.